It happened now had scared Ketelin out of her wits. It was all just a joke Frankie had played on her, but it ended up scaring both of them. Afterwards, Ketelin reluctantly told Frankie her current predicament. Frankie, who was only 15 days old, didn't mind. She began to study Hyde's lab diary. In the presence of her superbrain, the codes in the diary are easily deciphered by her, and the clues lead to the campus cemetery. But this is also a restricted area of the campus. On the other hand, Dusko finally found the courage to ask Ketelin to go out with him. Although Ketelin is very attracted to Dusko, but she was afraid that her mood swings would reveal her true nature. She walks away in frustration. Late at night, Ketelin and Frankie sneak into the schoolyard cemetery, only to discover that their roommate Dracula was there. They were practicing their witchcraft in secret. Dracula is horrified by the appearance of the two, because witchcraft is forbidden in Monster High. They thought it was a dirty human trick. The two men calmed the agitated Dracula. They also said they would keep her secret. When Dracula learns that Ketelin is a half-demon, he suddenly felt that his secrets were no longer secrets. The trio arrive at the place marked by Hyde. There was a clear handprint on the door. Ketelin excitedly put his hand on it. There was no reaction. Dracula looked through Hyde's journal and found that to open the door, there was a sorcery needed to open it, but one of the ingredients was only found in Dusko's possession, so Ketelin cheekily approached Dusko. To her surprise, Dusko sang a song of love to her.